Are you looking for the professional backup for your Kubernetes application? Today we will talk about managed service that could offer you professional, reliable backup for your complex Kubernetes application. With me, I have Camille Ritthaler, my guest expert in the area of the cloud application development. Welcome, Camille. Hi, thank you for having me. This video will be the second video in our series of the videos that focusing about how to backup and secure Kubernetes customer facing applications in the cloud environment. In the previous video, you will find the link to it in the description. We describe how you can deploy Valero app in your environment. Valero was fully free application supported by community that you can deploy in your organization, in your environment. The one challenge that you can face there is you have to have DevOps experience, have experience in managing cloud hosting platforms to deploy and configure that kind of backup. Kami was super helpful in this area because he's expert. I was not that great to do that by myself. And today we will talk about AFI AI. This is the platform that offers managed service for the backup of Kubernetes applications that you can deploy in your organization and have automated process of the backup. Sponsor of this video is AFI AI. So in the moment, I will show you how to get the free trial of this product. So you can test it for 30 days for free. You can deploy it based on instructions. We will share in the next steps of the video and test it in your organization. We highly recommend to verify if this is the solution that will work for you, especially if you have any gaps in the area of the DevOps structure in your organization. If you want to get access to the free trial subscription for the Kubernetes backup provided by AFI AI, the only thing you need to do is to visit office365.work.com slash Kubernetes or scan the QR code on the screen. You will also find the link in the description of the video. You will be navigated to the website provided by, by AFI AI that allows you to request the trial license. The only thing you need to do is to set your email, set the subject for the message describing Kubernetes trial. You can also add domain office 365 at workcom and describe your application or your organization. After that, send the message and AFI AI will sync with you and provide you the free access. You don't have to share any credit cards details. Just try it. You will see if there will be value for your organization behind managed service provided by AFI AI. And before we will move forward to see how to deploy that kind of solution, let's focus for the moment. What are the differences between DevOps based backup solution that you have to configure and let's say managed solution for the backup of the Kubernetes. So first of all, you don't have to configure the processes, the schedules, use the command line to do that. You have the solution that will provide all the logic, all the processes will provide the integrations with the storage platforms and with your environment. The only thing you need to do is to install it. And let's say management of the whole process is provided by the third party vendor that also could add additional functionalities. So you don't have to depend on the, let's say, knowledge in your organization, how to do that. You can use ready to go solution that you can very quickly deploy and configure to deliver backup solution for the Kubernetes apps quite quickly. But uh, Camille, maybe from technical perspective, what are the main differences when you will compare AFI, AI, and for example, Valero? Okay, so the main advantage is actually you, you mentioned quite few, I would say UI. So you don't need to know command line that good and all of the commands of the tool that you are using for backups. You just install it and you can use UI, discover components in your clusters and also create rules and uh, backups straight from, from your browser. The second thing and 
One of the most important from the security perspective is uh, that FIAI uh, supports a couple of ways to encrypt your backups. The first is provided by AFIAI. Uh, also, you can bring your own key to the table. Next thing would be you have granular control of access to your backups and the whole platform. So you can so you can define a couple roles. For example, one will be responsible for creating and, and managing backups. Uh, someone can be uh, responsible only for, for certain backups. Uh, or, or certain clusters, because you you can also uh, have multiple clusters back up in a single place, basically. Back up all of the clusters that you have in your organization in, in one place. And the last thing would be using native snapshotting capabilities. It's uh, two, two times faster than using Restic or Copia. So I can imagine if you're using um huge volumes of the data and complex application that kind of performance of the backup could be quite important to do that as quick as possible uh, plus my understanding is that let's say usage is very easy yeah? so you don't have to be skilled command line developer to build that kind of backup you will have user interface yeah, to exactly use. you can offload this to one of your junior team members to take care of uh, backups because it's quite easy to do comparing to creating all backups and managing it from command line make it to work with all of the cloud storage providers perfect so my understanding is also that we can encrypt our data so it will be secure to do not have any kind of leak of it, but also AFI provides, let's say, AI powered solutions to secure the data in case of any kind of phishing attack that wants to encrypt your data. So to do not lose the data, not because you will delete it by based on some kind of hackers attack, the data could be encrypted there are the features that will secure you from such a risk. So this is also something quite important, frankly speaking, when we're talking nowadays about the backup of the data, this is the one of the key elements, not only to secure the scenario when the data can be lost because somebody will delete it, but also how to behave when your environment will be hacked and uh, your environments, your servers, your data will be encrypted by attackers. So th there are the features that will help you to secure that and to have the possibility to restore the data from the backup in the cloud. Okay, so if you will log into AFI AI platform, you will be able to add data source to your environment. You have the possibility to backup Google Workspace, Microsoft 365, but also Kubernetes So some that interesting us mostly. And when you will click on that, you will get the information about the time zone that you want to set for your environment, comments that you need to execute also in your Kubernetes environment and to download the file that will use for the configuration. It's super simple. The only thing you need to do is to download the configuration file and execute these two command lines. Commands that we need to execute in terminal uh, where we have access to the cluster that we want to pick up. The first step is to add Helm repository of AFI AI. Then the second step is to download the file and execute this command, which was also provided in pop-up. And after you will deploy the command lines on your cluster environment, on the AFI AI website soon, you will get the information that new Kubernetes instance is added as a data source to your backup environment. As you can see, you can also can have Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace in the one environment. And also you can see no backups were executed. So let's start to manage and see how our backup environment looks like. First of all, we have four namespaces connected. We don't have any activity. You can see the interface is quite simple. It's not complex setup that you will need to 
figure out you have the namespaces that you want to back up but there's no protection we will need to assign sla and then execute backups but first let's check what kind of sla's programs do we have first of all you can assign that every new protected resource will be automatically assigned to the gold or silver SLA for the backup. You can use them. You can see the differences are not that big. This is something deployed three times a day. This is backup done once a day. But moreover, you can prepare your specific backup that you need. You can define how the retention, how the archiving, when the backups should be done. Do we want to backup everything or add additional configuration? So you can prepare the SLA profiles for the specific applications that will be different, then assign them to the namespaces and execute the backup. As you can see, this is quite straightforward. There's no rocket science. You don't have to be developer or DevOps engineer to handle that. Moreover, you will have the possibility to manage the access to the backup platform. So you can add administrators that will have the possibility to manage everything, or just the backup operators or other rules and define what kind of access rights these people will have. This is super important because you can have one administrator experience a person that will manage the configuration and just the person junior profile that will take a look or change something or restore one data resource for the specific namespace. Having that kind of granular access management is also something quite important because you don't have to provide direct access to the namespaces to manage the backups. And the last thing we have here, this is something that Camille mentioned. We can add additional secrets to encrypt our data. And Camille, from my understanding, this is something that could help us in case for any reasons our data will leak, then without that kind of key, it will be not possible to access the data. Exactly. If someone will get access to the storage where the backups are kept, uh, will not have access to, to the content of it. Will have access to, to the backup, but won't read anything from that without a encryption key. Exactly. And one thing, we, because we did not mention that, you can also use your storage using AFI AI. We mentioned previously in the pricing list that there is cost behind the nodes and there is a cost behind the storage. If you prefer to use your storage, you can still use it, then this cost will be cut off, but still the data will be encrypted. So you can imagine if you will use Azure environment to backup your Kubernetes applications, and for any reasons, there will be not provisioned access to that data, data will be encrypted, and people will not be able to get the information from it. So let's get back to protection and let's assign specific policies for our namespaces. So we want to use the gold policy for all of them. And moreover, you can see the backup policies are applied. If you will have multiple namespaces, multiple apps, multiple environments, you can also use full text search to get through that. You can see in our example, is it's not something that hard and you can decide to back up all of that data. You can also have more granular control of what you are backupping, not only whole namespaces, but you can select objects in, in the namespaces that you want to backup. Also, you can create the rules that will choose uh, objects that, that will be backed during uh, assigned to, to a specific SLA. Correct. So you can see we used very straightforward policies, something you can deploy very quickly, but you can deep dive and prepare very customized solutions if you will need it. In the activities log, you will also have clear information that backup, uh, what's happening with your backup? Is it still ongoing? Is it successful? Do we have any errors? And in the configuration, you can also get additional reporting to inform your IT team or DevOps team about the status 
of your backups you can send weekly daily or monthly reminders through the email directly to slack or microsoft teams this could be quite useful if you don't want to visit afi regularly but just take a look on the slack or teams about how it's going so you can see this is very simple backup solution the configuration maintenance of that solution is very straightforward as you can see there's also a possibility to check audit logs so in audit logs um, you can check what is happening on the platform so who created policy when when a backup was scheduled by whom so uh, you have full control and overview what's happening in your platform okay and when backup is ready uh, we can check the content of the backup uh, so what was backup uh, details and also this data is now available under the search so this full text search uh, searches through the content of the backup so you can find uh, components and when uh, they were backed up afi ai will also allow you to get through all the content structures all the volumes of the data backup in the background you will have the possibility to check the historical data something that is super important to restore the data from point in time and in the end you will have the possibility to download the content so all elements or to recover the namespace components included in there to the original namespace another namespace or to totally new namespace or the cluster this is super important if you want to use that kind of solution to migrate your kubernetes applications between multiple clusters or multiple namespace like dev prod test environment or totally new hosting platforms as you can see afi ai offers the powerful solution that could help you and simplify the process of the backup of the kubernetes applications the process is quite simple straightforward as you can see in this video i have possibility to do the more activities uh, if you compare with the previous video when we were talking about valero when we need to have experienced devops engineer to do that i highly recommend you to test the afi ai for free for 30 days in your environment in the beginning of the video and in the description you will find the instruction how to get access to the trial license of that product verify if this is something that will work for you i hope that we help you to found another options how you can manage and secure your kubernetes apps we highly recommend you to try it Camille, thank you very much for joining me today and helping to get through that. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for watching and let's see each other in the next video.